Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. So for this problem, I'm going to show you how to calculate the concentration of one of the solutes when you have an acid dissolved in water, if you know the concentration of all of the other solutes and Ka. The problem we're going to do involves a solution of hydrochloric acid dissolved in water. We know the concentration of the hydronium ion and of the fluoride ion, both of those concentrations are 5.62 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. And we're asked what is the hydrofluoric acid concentration at 25 degrees Celsius. The first thing you want to do here is write the balance equation that describes hydrofluoric acid dissolving in water or dissociation in water. So you have hydrofluoric acid. dissolving in our solvent, which is water. So hydrofluoric acid is an acid, so it's going to donate a proton to water. So one of the products will be the hydronium ion. The other product will be what's left over when hydrofluoric acid donates its proton, and that is the fluoride anion. The next thing you want to do is to use the acid dissociation constant for hydrofluoric acid to help you solve for the concentration of hydrofluoric acid, which is what we're being asked to do in this problem. So to do that, you need to write the equilibrium equation for acid dissociation here. So you have Ka, which is the acid dissociation constant, is equal to products over reactants. So we have the concentration of the hydronium ion multiplied by the concentration of the fluoride ion divided by the concentration of hydrofluoric acid. And we do not include water in this equilibrium equation because water is a pure liquid. So we know the flu uh, fluoride ion concentration because we're given that. We know the hydronium ion concentration. We're given that as well. We can look up Ka in a table of acid dissociation constants at 25 degrees Celsius, and when we do that, we find that Ka is 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4. So now we know Ka. The only thing we don't know is hydrofluoric acid. So we're going to rearrange our equation so that we can solve for that, and that's easy to do. You say that hydrofluoric acid is equal to the concentration of hydronium ion times fluoride divided by Ka. Substitute in our knowns, 5.62 times 10 to the negative 2 molar, 5.62 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. Again, those are the concentrations for hydronium and fluoride. We looked up our Ka, and we know that it's 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4. So when you do the math there, what you end up with is a hydrofluoric acid concentration of 9.02 molar. So that is our solution. And of course, you could rearrange this equation that we used in many different ways. So if you knew, for example, the hydrofluoric acid concentration and the fluoride ion concentration, and then you knew Ka, then you could rearrange things to find the hydronium ion concentration as well. So you can rearrange things to find any of the concentrations, or even Ka, if you know all of the concentrations, as long as all are known except for the one you're solving for.